Hi everyone, this is Jamela over at Viva La Vintage for your home. Thank you again for joining me in another episode of Living the Lifestyle of the Thrift and Famous. I would love for you to join the Thrift Squad, so go ahead and click that subscribe button so you'll get all my videos and be inspired to decorate your house on a budget. A while back, I was out thrifting and then I happened to see a, a mass of punch bowls out there. And I just fell in love with punch bowls. I've always liked them for entertaining, but it seems like everybody was starting to ditch their punch bowls. And I'm like, what is going on and why are there so many beautiful punch bowls out here? When you bring out the punch bowl, that means you're getting ready to start a party. And that's when I said, well, let's just kind of give the punch bowl a rebirth. And I created an event called the Punch Bowl Social. And what's a Punch Bowl Social? It's just an event to bring out that punch bowl. Back in the 80s and the 90s, me, my sister, and my cousin had a social club called the Black Arts and Entertainment. And we would host events in our home, and it was watching documentaries, and then we'd have a discussion. And of course, there was uh, food involved and punch. So in this video, I'm going to share how you can host the punch bowl social in your home. First thing is you want to plan um, the theme. Uh, in our case, we did some uh, documentaries on some famous black women during uh, Black History Month. Then we did some um, jazz series during uh, April for Jazz History Month. Next comes the invite list. Now you can make it as small or as large as you like. And then of course, plan your menu. I always try to keep it light, um, maybe like finger foods or something that could be uh, like in a casserole or something, but it could be whatever you like or everybody can bring something. It's um, up to you. This is also another great way to use those fancy vintage thrifted dishes that you may have around the house. Using that swan was one of my favorite things to do with the dip. I absolutely loved how that turned out. Now, this is the guest they were watching our documentary and that's usually you get, grab your plate and then let's go watch our documentary. Hosting an educational event is very rewarding when you're amongst other people that want to learn more about history or any kind of um, historical facts and you get to communicate and have a nice dialect after the viewing. There's so much out there to learn and if you just talk to one another, then you'll learn others' experiences that may, you know, enlighten some of the uh, things that they know about some history of stuff. So that's always good. And if you want to take a uh, house welcoming into an, another level, what you can do is um, if you have a new person that moved into your neighborhood and you have a block committee, you may want to have a, a small event to welcome them into the neighborhood. So what better way than inviting other neighbors to a punch bowl social? And by doing that, you can also have some fun and games. And here we just did some um, sugar scrubs as a little favor to take home. But it was also a good way to get to know um, the new neighbor in your in your area and again more friendships may blossom behind your event <laughs> this is my mother i'm just so glad after looking back after these pictures i'm so glad that i had these moments to capture with her that's just a side note but just loving her smile and i remember this like it was yesterday creating fun times with people you love and surrounded by friendly faces and smiles and laughter that's what we need more in life Another social event was the Punch Bowl Take 30 cooking session. That was a demonstration of cooking two different meals within 30 minutes. My girlfriend Simone has a, um, a ministry of, called Saw, Saved Anointed Women, and she wanted me to do something of to show how to cook two of my favorite meals that she likes, and that was shrimp quesadillas and chicken alfredo. So that was more than a wonderful experience to incorporate the use of a punch bowl and having a punch set up. Again, another social event just to have some fun and learning. On a whim, I applied for a literary grant because I wanted to do a book signing. I thought well, that would be good for our town. So I was awarded the grant 
and of course I made it into a punch bowl series I invited best-selling author Benilde Little to our town and it was a joy having her there to come and talk about her books everyone was delighted to meet her our mayor gave her such a warm welcome and you know after her event um, of her talking about her books she greeted everyone and signed their books and took pictures so it, again it was just another happy experience behind the act of making a punch so yes think of an idea or a topic or event that you might like to have but the only key thing is is to bring out that punch bowl and invite the guest I hope this video inspired you to go out and hunt for a nice punch bowl for your event. And if so, go ahead and click that like button, drop me a comment, and don't forget to share. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.